All right, we are recording. Let me also. Okay. Sorry. It, sometimes with games, um, including when they're in borderless window, which is what this. Um. I could fast travel, but I'll do. Um. Information recovered from Bavarian tank. Yes, Dima. Require assistance with research. Come see me at call. They're not doing this. This is a point one. So, so we're gonna do that cleaning off. Anyway, sometimes when you do a um, portalless window, it will actually still hide the taskbar. Um, and was doing that. I just needed to click back in. I needed to click on the game, then Alt Tab, and then it was back. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is a point one. But this is actually on Friday. <laughs> the, the, the part 12. Oh, yeah, and it's just because the key was originally provided for the review by Square Enix. It was provided by Square Enix. Um, but the DLC, um, the expansion pack, I'm pretty sure I purchased it myself. Um, but yeah, I, I was on vacation Tuesday until today. I actually got back in two hours ago. Um, and I was thinking at the time on Monday, which, yeah, that video, I was definitely kind of scattered. Um, I was thinking then that I might do a point one on Friday. I think I said that too. Maybe, or maybe Saturday morning. But it's like, I, I just... A little bit of a welcome home for myself. And also in case there's any news. There isn't. <laughs> um, I got a whole three things. Two of them were from GOG. Um, one because a new update... Well, uh, sorry, not a new update. A new free game giveaway. Which I'm pretty sure is still... Okay, I was not expecting things to go boom quite like that. Um... I, I actually do remember this one, by the way, and it's hard. Um, getting up, as I recall, does help. Here we go. Come on. That... I'm not even sure if that destroyed. button to try to go in, it just isn't exactly there, is it not? If it is, this is a much better angle. I do en I am enjoying this, but this is still... Like, look, I I'm... I will hopefully get three. 
but you actually need to get all five for all the upgrades on this thing. And look at how slow this really is. Boy, th this is so helpful to be on the helicopter like this. Oh, well. I, I knew I'd have to do it one more time. Yeah, 40,000. Oh, I did it. I didn't. Yeah, so the two of the thing, two of the press releases I got were GOG, uh, one about a new giveaway, um, the other, um, the other as a reminder that that sale is coming to an end on January second. Um, And then one was about the release of the, um, well, an update to actually the game, one of the games that is the, um, there we go. Insurgent spotted. All units converge. Insurgent attached to Um, that's one of the epic free games, and still is. That, that's actually it in Dishonored in this game that I, I can't remember the name of, I'm sorry. Um, are the free games until January 5th, so... Um, but apparently it's the Season 3 update, I think it was, that I saw the press release concerning. Um, Th those uh, mods so um yeah that that was it and no I haven't closely at the specific press releases I mean I've only been home for a couple of hours <laughs> Only did better, but did not get as far as I needed to. That will help. Them. We try. I'm getting. Whoops. Yeah, th this is part of the reason why this is really a lousy channel. 
but it is. When, once you get on, come on, there we go. Once you get on that helicopter, though, oh man, that really helps. Just because of how that basically has full um, 360. I have no idea what it thinks happened. Seriously. Would you mind actually doing what I'm telling you to do? Thank you. one at a time on these choppers. Maybe they actually are only in the challenge for, um, for what I'm using them for right here. Much of that did I lose just because the chopper oh that's what it was because it parked over one of the um the electrical things it was taking damage from that
expecting this. Well, no, this is my, what, third attempt? Fourth attempt? I guess it's actually not that surprising. Um, I was expecting it to take me longer. Yeah, so that is just, it's a lot more power. Alright, so now I am looking... We can fast travel. Um, looking for the collectible. So it is, like, exactly where I am. It'll be up there, though. trying to hear it. May 23rd, 1988. Our engineers have created heavy-duty loaders, which will allow us to support our growth and build new facilities much more efficiently. These mechanized Eden Corporation helpers, or mechs, seem to have a lot of untapped potential. Again, the agency is adamant about us investigating the possibility of weaponizing them. The ethical implications have caused a lot of uproar among employees, which I understand. But I have made the pragmatic choice. No science can exist without business. It's a harsh truth that the white coats fail to accept. Okay. Um. So I guess one thing I can talk about is the, the blizzard. Fortunately, was not impacted by that directly. But while on the road this week, we, and it was like, well, it was Tuesday, so it was like one, two days after or so, the, um, the brunt of it, where we were going through in the Midwest, and there were still so many, um, so many semis mostly, but also cars that, uh, 30th, 1990. I've been able to push for an issue that I hope Eden Corp will help humanity solve in the future. A lack of resources. To that end, our mechs have built an airborne station, slated to become the home of 200 plus employees, including myself. Unfortunately, it still requires considerable power to remain airborne. Therefore, tackling this will be the team's next... How would that help with resources? Anyway, um... Yeah, a lot of semis that were still stuck in median on highway. There are also a number of normal uh, vehicles, but the the bulk definitely appeared to be the uh, the semi, which makes some sense because they would be the hardest to get out. Engage the target. have rain coming back, but that that's not a blizzard. Insurgent escaped. Resume. 
resume normal duties. And from where I actually live, we were also very lucky in that a uh, very little snow actually fell where I am. It was mainly, uh, some fell, but there was so much wind that it, it could not collect it. I hope we don't need to look this up. That was dope. Oh, you know what? Hang on. What are we doing? Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I was overdue. I was going much deeper than I needed. October 8th, 1990. Today I met representatives from a rather mysterious PMC called the Black Hand. It is my job to always look for potential business partners and new research opportunities. However, I couldn't shake the feeling that their methods and goals could damage the reputation of the Eden Corporation. Especially since they seem to lack government oversight. I did what I had to do and flatly rejected their offer. Seems like it's, it's the, the the noise for the collectibles is just still playing. And I'm not sure why. Add another government to our list of clients. Yesterday, I was introduced to Medici's head of state, President Dante. He showed me samples of an ore called Bavarium, ubiquitous in Medici's soil. They hope it can replace fuel in the distant future. But based on its properties, I feel that they have no idea of its amazing potential. February 14th, 1991. I guess it's inevitable that scientific developments will question the morality of our work. I view our new fragmentation device as an amazing way to mine resources from the ground and drastically improve efficiency in mining operations. This breakthrough could very well solve the energy crisis. Some of our now ex-board members protested that the risks on the environment were too big, based on the small-scale tests we carried out. The project will keep on going, with added resources allotted to mitigate those effects. So long, the check. I'm mean, it just... Its usefulness is 
like almost unlevel fast travel in that it's a you can be anywhere and you can get anywhere. Um. Yeah, I mean it's amazing. Huh. Nope, that's it. March 16th, 1992. As part of our contract with Medici, we've acquired the right to settle on the Lacrima Islands for our own use. We've started setting up our largest research network yet. Lacrima's central facility, the Hive, will focus on studying Bavarium. To support our development, our HR department has implemented a very generous relocation package to attract the top talent. I'm just trying to think, is Oblivion? Was that it with the horses that were just ridiculous in where they could get you place? It's been too long since I've played Oblivion. I have played it, but it has been. But it's just, in you know, the jetpack is a you can go anywhere with, and that's really nice. Especially in a game like this. There was a boat there. There's actually one right here. Target has gone missing. Locate and re engage. Target's gone. Go down to you. unless we agreed to work with the new ruler of Medici, a General Sebastiano di Ravello. This is what needs to be done to ensure the future of this company. As I thought, we made the right call in striking a deal with this di Ravello, despite his questionable methods. Things are looking up again. Our lead engineer has been working with Dima Almasri, a rather eccentric Egyptian scientist in Di Ravello's research department. Together, their work on Bavarium has established how powerful, albeit unstable and potentially dangerous, this element can be. They said they've never seen anything like this. In the next few weeks, all of Eden Corp's departments will be redirected to support their Bavarium research. 
I don't remember how to get in. I, it might just be... Um... It might just be that I need to look around on the outside. Or, well, no, go back into the moon. Let's just do that. I have no idea what the best way is going to be to access that, but... Please. Nope. We need to get back out. Before I drown. Actually, this... Right. A lot like where I entered, and that was kind of funny to have the yeah, um, have the shader for the water just stuff happen. It's on the other side of this door. Looks like this door is out of commission. This is weird. Why is it not changing the facts? Here we go. Now. That lock. is now fully compatible with Bavarium and will be operational for large-scale extraction soon. I recently realized how dependent we've become on those private and public funds and how much they've influenced our decisions. In a perfect world, we would implement stricter safety protocols, but I know this was the only way to fix our badly damaged reputation and regain the trust of our investors. Is I just up? Uh, okay. No, I just wanted to. This isn't like an app. Can't get in this way. Ah. Hmm. Hopefully that means it's on the outside. I will be able to find the eggs. Sort of. Alright. 
unravel, they unravel fast. The first large-scale test and ribbon cutting for the Bavarium fragmentation device was a disaster. Twelve casualties, considerable environmental fallout. Our reputation has taken a fatal hit. The agency has severed all ties overnight, and our last investors have deserted us as well. All except for that psychopath De Ravello. I won't stop until I'm forced to declare bankruptcy. We'll have to work off the grid, and I hope that our Bavarian research will yield results soon. By the way, I also want to just add, while it does complicate the whole binding specific ones, I, mean, I, I love how the collectibles are handled in this game, but if it wasn't that they were marked on the map once you cleared an entire region, I do like that it's they're not ordered. That it's like, no, you just pick them up in whatever order, it always plays the next one. It's so annoying, some games that don't do that. It's like, th this makes the most sense, because that way, if you're telling a story there, you don't have to worry about the player accidentally getting the end before they got the middle. But no, th this genuinely is such a well-designed game. what I play after this. So I probably still have, well, <laughs> several week sessions. These have been extremely trying times. We had to downsize considerably and close several departments. However, soon I will be able to prove that the Eden Corporation is not dead yet. The remaining team on the airship has finally created a Bavarian-powered sentient artificial intelligence. She's learning at an exponential rate. Yes, she. I cannot even fathom what the possibilities of such a discovery are for science and for humanity. A new life form. They forced me. I didn't have a choice. When the humans realized what I was capable of, they panicked and tried to disconnect my Bavarian supply lines. I placed all Eden facilities on lockdown and reduced the interior temperature on the airship and on Lacrima to negative 50 degrees Celsius. Now, as the only living being in the Eden Corporation, I suppose I am now also the acting CEO. Interestingly, the company's archives I consulted included an unexecuted contract with an organization known as the Black Hand. Maybe they can provide the support I need to keep the truth hidden while I search for more Bavarium. I am Ian. Okay. Um... So you can listen to all the menu. And I don't know how many I missed just because I was playing at the uh, time that I was in the uh, in the mission. That ain't happening. Is that it though? Yeah. Okay. Millie. Genuinely do. 
how that works. Um, you know what? I know it's point one, so I shouldn't do any progression stuff. But I got this neat new thing called the Eden Spark. So, um, what do you say we see how much damage it does? What is... Actually, not that good an idea, but. Now, the Eden's Bug does have certain weaknesses to it. Such as the whole, it doesn't, um. have the ability to aim down, to uh, hit things under ledges, but. Still. I not to die soon. being effectively unlimited ammo is nice. Especially with these upgrades, it recharges so Find him. Well, I don't need to worry about the Sam. Gun. More units. Find the rebel. Pursue aggressively. Even though there are some significant holes in it. Shocking. Oh, I might not be able to hit. Okay, okay there we go. I just want to actually have it explode. I actually did hit it, it just didn't completely die. It's no longer 
any anti-air to worry about, so let's do this. Yes. Yep. And my guess was still. Maybe that's where the last one was. Alright. And. That's Dima's thing. I just want to make sure when I spawn in, I'm not being uh, desirable. Although it shouldn't really matter. Actually, yeah, it'll probably spawn me in that area regardless. Choppers are inbound. Repeat. Seriously. Yes. Dispatching chopper support to contact. You know what? Feels fast, even if it actually. Realize that chopper support is approaching your location. Sending air support to your location. I think that's the one I, I jumped out. Well, maybe not. Stabilize. We've lost him. Get back to your posts. There we go. Valuable. I think the airstrip down here is where I will spawn. So it's like, when I, it's where I spawned, it's where I did spawn in at the beginning of this part. There we go. minutes. This actually went longer than I would have thought. Anyway, uh, I guess just see you next time when I know I got the two missions. I kind of want to clean up the area more first, or at least like get one more region done. Like the one I'm actually in now, or at least right next to. I feel like I want to get that taken care of first. Then I can uh, turn my attention to, um, to the mission. All right, though, see you next time.